case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit heard the case of Barry Wright Corp. v. ITT Grinnell Corp., which centered on whether companies can price their products above the cost of production without violating antitrust laws. Barry Wright sued Pacific Scientific and ITT Grinnell, claiming they engaged in predatory pricing that was anti-competitive. Pacific produced mechanical snubbers, exclusive shock absorbers used in building pipe systems for nuclear power plants, and was the sole provider of such products meeting Nuclear Regulatory Commission standards. The court found that Pacific's discounted prices were not exclusionary or in violation of the Sherman Act, as enough revenue was generated to cover production costs. Furthermore, Pacific's requirements contract with Grinnell was deemed not exclusionary due to legitimate business justifications. Barry Wright appealed, but the district court's findings were not deemed clearly erroneous. The court ultimately held that Pacific's pricing strategy, exclusive contract with Grinnell, and additional discount to Grinnell did not violate antitrust laws or act in an exclusionary or anti-competitive manner. Lacking sufficient evidence of Pacific's improper behavior, Barry Wright's argument did not prevail and the district court's judgment was affirmed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.